Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a little bit on my phone. So yes guys, you see that I'm on my phone right now and I have this uh, app icon here which is called as ML Kit Vision. I don't know what this is. Let's click and see. Oh, so run the ML Kit written in Java and run an ML Kit written in Kotlin. Okay, so I'm not familiar with Kotlin yet. Let's try Java. Oh, you see we have four options here and definitely it is doing something with the help of camera. So the live preview and the camera X live is definitely doing something with camera and I also want some real time, you know, thing right now. And you see, as I click the live preview, it started detecting some objects here and I'm getting multiple tracking IDs and it is also saying that my... Home is pretty good, which is nice. Now let's click here. Oh, did you see guys what these options are? It says text recognition. Let me click that. And I have this small text here. Let's see what it says. So these are indeed coffee bags and it is begging me to try them. <laughs> now see something else. Custom object detection. What? Okay, let's see if it detects any object. Did you see? It is uh, detecting my monitor as a display device. I have uh, my laptop also as an electronic device. And, uh, you know, this is a table here which is pretty great. Okay, let's see face detection. So definitely there are no faces here. But uh, you see it is detecting my face which is pretty good. And uh, you can go to any other option. And you see this pretty much saying many things about my face. And if I just turn or uh, flip the camera, it is able to recognize multiple things on my desk. It's a desk. There is a chair here. Oh my God, it is just detecting so many things right now. So let's go back to object detection. And I hope you guys just enjoyed this short demo here. And uh, you know guys, do you want to know how I did this? I'm sure you guys are curious. So you know what, let's get started. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that demo on my phone and you are excited about the implementation part. And yes guys, you have guessed it right. Today we are going to do ML kit implementation. So guys, I just found out this really interesting API which is developed by Google and it is a, you know, API for machine learning for mobile developers and today we are going to use it to create that sample demo app which I just showed you before. So guys, if you like my videos and you want to support me, then please, please, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for further notifications. If you like this video, then please do like it and share it with your friends as well. And if you want to comment on it, you have any suggestions, feel free to put them in the comment section below. So guys, without wasting any time, let's get started. So guys, whenever uh, I was trying to find out more about this ML kit, I, you know, landed on, on this page, uh, definitely, which is the main page for the ML kit. And you will see here that Google has provided us multiple vision APIs and face detection and image labeling, etc, etc. So basically, they have done the job for us. They have created these APIs, they have these pre-trained models and everything, you know. So Google developers have done like 90% of the job for us. All we have to do is use these APIs to serve our purpose. You know, you can take the face detection APIs to, you know, recognize a person, uh, to recognize if a person is smiling or if it, he is sad. You can take the image labeling to do real-time object detection. All the things you can do with the help of this ML kit. So whenever you will uh, come on to this page, I will be putting these links in the description box as well. All you have to do is click on this get started button. And once you click on that, you will be able to see the description, uh, like a lot of details about ML kit. And if you go into the left hand section, you will see that there is something called as vision. And in the vision, 
we can see all the pre-trained mechanisms which are being already implemented in MLK. So we have text recognition, we have phase detection, pose detection, etc. etc. So guys, we will not be going into the detail of each and every vision API right now. What I'm going to show you is how I just made that demo application, uh, which was pretty much really easy to do. And we will be going into the detail of each and every vision, uh, you know, sample later on in the future. Uh, but for now, if you just want to get started with it, you can just take any vision API here. For example, I took the text one and uh, you will see that they have actually given a lot of detail about how they implemented the, you know, text recognition and what you can do to make this text recognition. Okay. But in the topmost portion, you will see that you have a quick start sample on GitHub, which is actually provided to us by the Google only. So if you just uh, click on it, you will land on a page like this. So this is a basically a GitHub uh, page in which you are going to get all the sample code of uh, MLKit vision. Okay, so be it uh, text recognition, face recognition, if you click on this app, you will uh, go inside the code and you will see that you have the demo applications for almost each and every uh, API which was mentioned in that page. So you have barcode scanner, face detector, everything is there. All you have to do is you have to import this project into your Android studio, create your own ML app and then you can do anything with it. You can use this functionality and you can create events on it. For example, if the person is smiling, you can create an event, show him a toast that you are smiling. If a person is sad, you create an event. If a, you know, if some object like water bottle is detected, you can remind a person that please drink water. It is nearby you, right? So these are all these like, there are a lot of use cases which you can do, right? So I'm going to show you how you can use this project. Okay. How you can import it in your Android studio, because frankly speaking, when I was trying to work with it, there were a lot of issues which I faced. So the first thing is you have to simply clone this project. Okay. So just go to ML kit here and you will get this code option. You can either clone this project or you, you can download it as well. Okay. Once you have downloaded this project, let me go to my Android studio here. You will see that I have already imported some code here. So we will not look at this right now. We are going to do this from scratch. So let's go to a new import project. And now if you have downloaded that code or if you have Google, uh, sorry, uh, GitHub cloned it, you will get a folder like this ML kit master. Okay. Inside this folder, you will get another folder called as Android. And in the, in this Android folder, you will get a folder like vision quick start. So guys, this vision quick start is a folder that you have to press OK on. This is the folder that you have to import. So I will click OK here and you will see that quickly this project is starting to import. So guys, I am not importing this project for the first time. For me, it is the second time and that's why you don't see any progress bar here. But if you guys are importing this project for the first time, you will get an Im Gradle import progress bar in the top, uh, in the bottom right corner and it will take some time. But for me, uh, that Gradle build actually failed uh, and the reason I will tell you why it failed. So basically I was having this Android version. Uh, we, so I am currently having Android Studio 4.2.1, which is the latest version. But before that, I was working on a lower version. So guys, I advise all of you to please upgrade your Android Studio to the latest version if you want to work with ML Kit, because it, it is not compatible with the lower versions of Android Studio. Another problem which I faced uh, was, I will show you. So if you guys see this build variants here, okay. So all you have to do is uh, all, first of all, I'm just closing it here so that I can open it again in front of you guys. 
so you just have to go to build and select build variant and you will see that now my option is selected as debug but before that like initially when you will import this project your build variant will be pro guard now i will show you what will happen if your build variant is pro guard so let's say that your project is imported and your gradle build was finished so once that part is done your app is actually ready to be run right so let me just select an emulator here we will show the phone later on so i have for now only selected an emulator and you will see that if you have selected an emulator you will automatically get a small cross on your application and if you click on debug here instead of running your app on the emulator you will get a page like this in which it will say the apk for the current a uh, selected variant is not signed so please specify a signing configuration for this variant so guys if you want to avoid this error then you have two options the first option is you can simply debug on your phone okay so i can debug on my phone and uh, even on my phone i am getting this error so maybe the only option is you have to change your build variant so once i change my build variant to debug then you will see that this error has disappeared so now you can easily debug your application on your phone or if you want on your emulator as well so guys once that is done you will practically see that your code is now error free and even if you see some errors you can definitely go to gradle here and uh, here, here are some run configurations and you can see here that all the dependencies are uh, correctly downloaded or not or if you get any errors you will be able to figure out them that most of the errors are due to gradle dependencies not being downloaded so if you don't have a good internet connection or if you have some proxy setting definitely you have to fix that but uh, for whatever uh, dependency that is not downloaded you will get a small cross sign here and you can either download them yourself or you can fix your internet connection after that so guys once your uh, application is imported successfully you will get uh, no errors you can see that i don't have any errors and now what i have to just simply do is run this application so i can just click on this debug button and you will see that an emulator will start on my screen and here you can see that the gradle build is running so before launching any um, android application first of all your gradle build runs and that might take a few minutes and after that you will be able to see it on your screen okay so my uh, emulator is already here okay let's click on okay here and this is still running let's try to click here okay so the click is disabled because uh okay so the click is just a little bit slow and now if you click on live preview activity you will be able to see a dummy image so definitely you don't have a camera here in your uh, in your in your emulator so definitely you are just going to see a dummy image here okay so think there was some issue because uh, because the the app was actually installing again and uh, i tell you why that happened because the first time i opened my emulator here uh, the app which was running was actually already installed so it just got opened but uh, actually once uh, you will get that install pop up here then after that your application will be actually installed So you can just click on a uh, live preview activity still image and camera x live. I will just tell you the difference. So uh, still image and camera x source demo activity, uh, both of them only taking uh, something from a source, and the camera x live and live preview activity are actually uh, do a live camera preview and they do real time object detection. So I will just click on live preview activity and. Uh, you will see that there will be some yeah so you will see this is a demo image which is actually provided to us by by google only 
and uh, you will be actually able to if you click on this in this object detection here you will see all the options which I just showed you on my phone before and uh, if you do like custom object detection let's say and uh, then you will start detecting some objects okay let's try to do that uh-huh up oh, okay so I change it to barcode scanning and let's do custom object detection and if you click on this uh, basically it flips the camera but definitely there is no front camera here and okay so you can see that it is a pretty heavy application and that is why it is taking a little bit of uh, uh, you know uh, toll over my CPU and I am not able to actually work a lot with this so at that point of time I think it's uh, it's really best for the object detection and real-time object detection if you directly you know uh, debug them on your phone right so what I will do here is I will just close this emulator and uh, yeah so once your emulator will be closed it will be uh, saved with a particular state as it is shown before and now what you can do is you can just select your phone here I will just tell you a few things about your phone so if you want to select your phone as a debugging device you have to enable USB debugging in your phone and uh, for me there was a uh, different uh, steps to enable USB debugging if you have a different phone if you don't have Redmi Note 4 like me then you will be having a different step so better option is you just go to the Google and Google the steps for enabling USB debugging on your phone so for example I just googled uh, enable USB debugging on Redmi Note 4 okay and whatever the steps came I just followed it and it started to work so guys once uh, once that is done once that is done then if you just select on debug your phone will automatically get that app installed and you will be able to run that demo application just like I showed you before. So guys in the first uh, part of this video I showed you entirely from my phone and you guys all knew that it was working almost perfectly. So I do recommend you guys to enable USB debugging and if you want to uh, you know use this example then it's really best if you use your actual phone for debugging so guys i hope you uh, guys enjoyed this uh, small tutorial and uh, you learned something from it and if you have then please 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 like this video share this video with your friends and comment on it provide me your feedback and please 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 su subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for further notifications and until next time, thank you so much everyone and bye-bye.